All right, this challenge is a found object color wheel. So we're gonna be making a color wheel here, but instead of painting it or coloring with crayons, we're gonna use things that we can find around our houses. So real quick, just to review your color wheel, um, it is basically your rainbow, but it's in a wheel form, and this helps us as artists kind of figure out what colors we need to mix other colors. So here we've got red, yellow, and blue. Does anyone know what those are called? Primary colors. <laughs> primary colors. So when you mix your primary colors together, you get your... Secondary colors. Secondary colors. So red and yellow are primary. You mix them together and you get... Orange. Red and blue are primary. You mix them together and you get... Purple. And yellow and blue are primary. You mix those together to get... Green. All right, so our secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. All right, so your first job is to go around your house, make sure it's things you're allowed to take from where they're at, but grab things that are all of these different colors, and then we're gonna see if we can arrange them into our own color wheel. Welcome back. Um, we walked around the room, our houses, and looked for objects that we could use on our, in our color wheel. So we've looked for um, our primary and our secondary colors. Now it's time to arrange them in a color wheel fashion. So here we go. I found some fruit and a few other things. So I'm gonna start with my primary colors. My primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. So I'll start off with those two. So I'll space them out like this. Red and yellow make orange. Yellow and blue make green and red and blue make purple. I've arranged it in a color wheel. All right, so I've gone around and gathered a bunch of random stuff for my color wheel. I got a bag of chips, some lotion, a book, a light bulb, but I was just looking for my primary and secondary colors, and this is what I've got, so we'll arrange this into a color wheel now. Starting with my primary colors, I'll take my red, there, and then I need blue, put it diagonal, and yellow is my book, so I'll put this here. All right, now I've got to figure out red and yellow mixed together make orange, so I'll put those there. Red and blue mixed together make purple, so I've got this here, my tape, and then yellow and blue mixed together make green, so I can put that there. I can see, now that I've got my regular color wheel, if I have more items that I had found that I can fill in. So maybe I want to put a few different red items or a few different yellow items. Here's some more green. And I can go ahead and keep filling in my color wheel with more items that I find. Boy, that was fun. So now it's time to clean up. Make sure that you take all those items that you pulled out from your house and make sure you put them away so mom doesn't find them missing and get angry. <laughs> <laughs> but before you clean it up, see if you or an adult can help you take a picture of your color wheel so that you can remember your artwork and your creation. And if you'd like to go one step further, we would love to see what you made. So if you want to send it to us at nesartroom at gmail.com, if you just email us your picture, um, we'll even see if we can get you featured on our Instagram because we would love to see your found object color wheels. Thank you. All right. See you later.